Hi everybody! Today I'm bringing a car racing game, which is a video that I wanted to bring to the channel because it is very fun. It is basically a game in which you control a car, you have to finish all the levels as soon as possible, and if you drive on the grass, the car slows down. So you have to use your skills to drive only on the road. In the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to a video in which I explain how to create a cloud variable to save the highest score obtained by a player which is something that creates addiction to the users that play your game and that's going to make your game way better. Also, I would like to make another video explaining how to make a car racing game for two players, but that will be in the future. So if you're ready, let's get started. As we usually do, let's begin deleting the cut and we're going to draw, we're going to paint our car. Let's pick a rectangle, let's center it, and now with reshape, I'm going to add a dot here, let's move it, and let's change the curve a little bit. Alright, so let's make the wheels using a rectangle, couple of wheels here, now select tool, copy, paste, We'll put it here, paste again, paste again. Now let's make the windows, there will be blue windows here. Let's reduce the outline a little bit, okay here. I'm gonna reshape it a little bit that way and I'll select tool copy paste flip horizontal put it here and now let's decorate with a um, few lines and now let's make the front light with a couple of yellow circles here copy paste and one here that could be our car, okay, a top view of our car. I'm gonna make it smaller, but that's okay. And now let's create the backdrops. Uh, for the backdrops, uh, it's gonna be quite simple. We're gonna zoom out, take the rectangle, pick a green color for the grass and cover the whole canvas, okay? Now. Pick the brush, pick another color. If we're gonna drive on the road, a gray color, this one. Change the brush size to 100 and now just paint as you want. Okay, that's good. And now simple, right click, duplicate, select, and observe where this uh, road has finished because the next one is going to start at the same height but on the left side. So let's delete it. Now let's pick this and we start from here. If we have finished here, we start over here. Okay? So let's make it that way. And now right click, duplicate. Select tool, we select it, delete, we take this, and where do we start? If we have finished over here, we start over here, and we can make something like this. Okay, so we have the three backdrops, and now we're going to add another backdrop in which we will show the time that it took the user to finish the race. So, um, no, not paint, choose a backdrop and we can take, for example, blue sky, okay? And that's enough. So, it is time to code. Let's go to the car, I'm gonna change the name, car, code, and let's begin. First of all, when green flag clicked, something super basic, we're gonna switch backdrop to backdrop, backdrop one. Green flag, here. Where do I want to start? Over here. 
So that position is x negative 243, y 87. So go here. And what direction is our car uh, going to be pointing? 90. Okay? To the right. So now let's code the movement. Forever. Four conditions. One, two, three, and four. If key up arrow pressed, okay, forever, we're gonna be moving the car at a speed of five steps, for example. This is something you can adjust later, depending on the size of your car, the width of the road, the curves that you have created, okay? But let's begin with this. Now, when um, key right arrow pressed, we're gonna turn maybe five degrees, could be good. When um, key left arrow pressed five degrees to the other side, we could have used the same block and write a negative number. And if key down arrow pressed, we're gonna move backwards, but not at the speed of five. It should be two, but as it is backwards, negative two. Let's see, green flag, fantastic. You can control the car very well, but on the grass, the speed is the same. So that is the next thing we have to code. What do we have to change? Easy. Here, if key up arrow pressed, we're not going to move five steps in any case. So let's put it here and we're going to add a condition. We're not going to move five steps only if we are not touching the grass. So if we're not touching green color. So um, here in operator, we take a knot and in sensing, touching color and we take this one. If we are not touching that green, we move at a speed of five steps, which is five pixels in the in the screen. Else, so if we're touching the grass, the speed is gonna be two, for example. Sounds reasonable. Let's see. All right, if I don't make any mistakes, I can drive there, but if I drive on the grass, it slows down. Okay, perfect. What do we need now? We need to configure how to switch to the next backdrop. What are we gonna do? Look, I have an idea, which is in the backdrops. Here, we're going to add a small rectangle of a slightly different color. So I'm gonna change the brightness I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a rectangle here. I know it is, well, way different from the from the road, but that's not a problem because that's something you can change. Okay, instead of brightness 40, you can pick 55. I've chosen this so that you can see it clearly. Now select tool, we select it, copy, we go to the next backdrop and we paste. Oh, where is it? Here, in the same position, okay. So be careful because sometimes you click on paste and you think it has not been pasted, but it has. We go here, paste, where is it? Here. And we place it there. All right, so we already have this, this, and this. And now we, what we need is to code a car so that it detects that color and goes to the next backdrop which is quite simple. Inside this forever loop, which is gonna be constantly checking if we um, press up arrow, right arrow, left arrow, or down arrow, is also going to be constantly checking if we touch that dark gray that we have put on the, on the road. So if touching color, and we pick this gray, I think it's a good idea to open that. Okay, this color. What are we going to do? We're going to go to the 
next backdrop but this has a problem that you're gonna see now look I'm driving and look where should my car go well it should go to this position so let's put the car here this position is negative 244 y44 which is saved here and when do I want my car to go to that position? When backdrop switches to backdrop 2. That's an event that we have here. Backdrop 2. I recommend that you use point in direction 90 so that you make sure the car is pointing to the right. Again, let's see. Green flag. Let's do this. And now, whoa, I'm here. It looks like I go to the next screen, okay? Here, I have to do the same. So, when backdrop switches to backdrop 3, I want my car here. You can even duplicate this and you change the coordinates. It is the same X, but here is negative 112. And when does it happen? When backdrop switches to backdrop 3. Let's see. Okay, as you see, I'm quite a good driver. And do we want our car here? No. So what do we have to do? Super easy. When backdrop switches, switches to blue sky, we are going to hide our car. And as I usually tell you, if you hide your car here, you have to show it at the beginning of your game. All right? Because if not, look, if the car is hidden and I want to play again, the car is not here anymore. So, at the beginning of my game, I have to tell my car to show. Alright, so that's perfect. What do we need now? We need time. It doesn't tell me how long it took me to finish the race. So, I'm going to create a variable, which is going to be called time. Alright, and when am I going to see the time? Only at the end. So, at the beginning, I'm going to hide variable time. And I'm going to show it when I finish my game. But where am I going to see it? In what part of the backdrop? Instead of here, look, right click, large readout, and we place it over here. And on the backdrop, we can even write time. We make it bigger, we place it over here and it is quite simple look let's go here to the car in sensing we have a timer which never stops but it resets when I click on green flag okay so when backdrop switches to blue sky which means that I have finished the race I am going to set timer sorry time to the number that we have here. It is not necessary to see the timer, so we can hide it. And let's see. Perfect. I did it in 30 seconds. Okay. Amazing. Um, and as I usually do, I like giving you some ideas, some improvements that you can do in your games. And here we're going to create a countdown before the car starts moving. So let's go here, let's paint another sprite with text, we insert number 3, make it bigger, and now right click duplicate, number 2, right click duplicate, number 1, right click duplicate, go, and select tool and let's center it, and let's center this here in x0 y0 okay let's call it countdown and look let's code it what do i want at the beginning i want to show my countdown because it's gonna be hidden when i'm playing i'm going to switch um where is it costume to the first one costume one and i'm gonna wait for one second and now later, 
next costume wait one second and I want to repeat this three times so repeat three let's see green flag three two one go and I have to hide it but this has a problem because if I click on green flag as you see I can start moving my car which is something I don't want so how do I solve it super simple the car um, well the forever loop which is the loop in which we control the car movement is not going to start when we click on green flag when this countdown finishes we're going to broadcast a message the message could be go for example this message is broadcasted right after the countdown has finished who is going to receive this my car so the car is going to have when i receive go this starts so when i click on green flag we only place the car in the correct position and we switch backdrop and so on but the car cannot move until it receives the message go let's see oh and one more thing uh, when we click on green flag the timer starts but we have to reset the timer after go so here we're gonna reset it and now everything should be perfect let's see three two one go Perfect, 11 seconds, I did better. Okay, so this is the end of the game. I hope you liked it, it is very fun. As I told you at the beginning of the video, it would be a good idea that you create a cloud variable to save the highest score obtained by other players. That's something I explained in another video that I leave here, okay? But you can also find in the description of the video. And in the future, when I have time, because this takes a lot of time to be done, I will explain how to create a car racing game for two players which is super fun and that way you will be able to play with your family and friends all right see you guys bye bye